Okay. This is. <laughs> John, I think. I don't even know how to respond band, to that. I think. <laughs> Welcome to this evening. We are so glad that you are here. I'm still, I'm still laughing at that. I was going to say I'm Joelle Royer. I'm a pastor here at the Loma Linda University Church. For those of you who are here for the very first time, we are so glad you're here. And I'm Stu Hardy. I'm the media pastor at this wonderful church. And this is actually the culmination of an incredible week, the launch of the Loma Linda Institute of Worship. Uh, has been happening. We had a wonderful concert last night, some incredible music with orchestra and choir, and some of that same choir is actually going to be joining the Heritage Singers tonight. So it's a very special treat, kind of a culmination of a wonderful week. How many of you can remember the first time you heard Heritage? Oh, yes. Stu, do you remember? The first time. I do, actually. Um, my father actually used to play baseball in college with Max Mace and his brother. So in the 70s, I remember they came down to Glendale, and my dad wanted to see his friend, and we went and heard him, and we got all these albums and all that kind of stuff. And then a little later, I was at school in Glendale Academy in the elementary school, and they were doing, Heritage was doing some filming in Hollywood. We went to the taping of that. Oh, very cool. That was a couple years ago. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure it was. Um, well, I was just thinking when I Maybe first... Maybe before you were born. <laughs> probably. That's very accurate, I'm sure. I remember as a kid traveling, and my parents would pop in, you know, those cassettes. Tapes. Do you guys remember those? Cassette tapes in the car. A track for me. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and we listened like Heaven is for Kids, all yeah. of that. And then yeah. high school, it actually kind of changed into listening to them and the words, and they really ministered to me in high school. Now, I, I, one of the more recent for me and, and my family actually is I remember, um, you're going to get to hear their voices tonight. I remember when Scott Reed, Mark, and his sister Shaney, and Andrea, Mark's now wife, mm -hmm. were seen together at Faith First. And I also remember when their parents, particularly their mother, came to Thousand Oaks, mm -hmm. and it changed the worship experience in Thousand Oaks Church. Oh, I remember Mama that. Mama Judd. <laughs> we love Mama Judd. Well, there are a few connections later in life that I have had. Um, Shaney, we'll talk about Shaney. She roomed across the hall from me at PUC. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shaney, I'm not going to tell the story, don't worry. Um, but she really shouldn't be my friend because my roommate at the time and I played a practical joke on her, and it didn't go so great. But she ended up being one of my best friends, despite our stupidity. And um, just love her to death. And through her and some of the others have just gotten to know them. And the Heritage Singers are so much more than just personalities on right. stage. They are wonderful. They're kind of like family here. They are. Many of you, how many of you know them personally? I know we have tons of people here that know them. They come um, every Thanksgiving. Yes, they come every Thanksgiving. And tonight is very special because you will see them as you have not before with all of the choir that you mentioned. So you're going to see a whole different side of heritage with our wonderful choirs here this evening. Well, I think they're ready to not hear I us know. sing, them <laughs> sing. So let me have a word of prayer. Let's bow our heads. Most gracious Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for the gift of music. We thank you for this evening and everyone here. And Lord, regardless of where anyone is this evening, may we pause, ask for your Holy Spirit to be here, and may it uplift and inspire each and every one, regardless of the situation this evening. We thank you for hearing and answering our prayer. Thank you, Lord, in your name. Amen. Enjoy this evening of worship with the Heritage Singers.
the man to dance when he doesn't hear a band? Yeah. What can move a broken heart to see? What could make a weary sinner fall down on his knees? What could make the halls of heaven ring? And what can lift my lowest thoughts to the very throne of God? And what can lift my eyes from earthly things? Hey, it's the power of praise. The power of praise. When led by God's Spirit, it's a mighty refrain. It flows with the force that carries the current of change. The power of When my passion's been consumed Praise can give my spirit soul a voice Praise can fill my mind with peace When my doubts have overcome Praise can fill my longing to rejoice Praise can turn my sorrow
I've never seen your face I know you're always there You're caring for me Lifting every sorrow that I bear And every day the journey Brings me closer to your side And forever in your presence I'll abide I know we'll never have to say goodbye I know you're always there In every way And all the journey takes me everyone. It's so good to see a full house tonight. Thank you for coming out. It's such a privilege to gather with believers and celebrate the goodness of God, isn't it? The power of the cross, the empty grave, the soon return of Jesus. It's our, it's our privilege and honor to do that together. I want to read you something. There is no greater joy than the joy of knowing Jesus in a deep and personal way. Yet, I have witnessed plenty of Christians who have received salvation but seem to be running low on hope, disconnected from joy and struggling to find peace. I've been challenged by something I heard recently which is this. Many of us have more faith in the return of Christ than we do in the power of the gospel as it pertains to our lives here on earth. Many of us place more of our focus on the second coming of Christ than on our present foundation of faith, which is the power of the gospel, not just for eternity, as marvelous as that is, but for the here and the now. It's as if we've forgotten that the power of the gospel, it not only changes our future destination, it changes our present reality as well. Guess what? It's big enough to do both. Jesus said in John 10:10, 10, 10, I have come that they may have life and have it in abundance. Too many of us are living without the abundance part of this truth. What does it say to those around us about the God of the universe who created us in love, returning to a people living ineffectual and virtually powerless lives because we're too consumed with hiding under our proverbial rocks? Too many are so intent on avoiding the darkness of the world that they've forgotten they've been empowered to live in this world as joyful, peace-filled, hope-obsessed, powerful overcomers. 1 John 4.4 4 says, greater is he that is in me, that's in us, than he that is in the world. Romans 8.11 tells us that the very same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead is alive and living in us. It is our privilege 
to live now in the power of the gospel, which is far above every other power, period. And it is our present joy and hope to know that someday, yes, we will be like him and we will see him as he is. The power of the gospel affects both the then and the now. Paul wrote to the believers in Colossians that there was a mystery now revealed and it was this, Christ in you, the hope of glory. We are to be the light of the world, a city set on a hill because Christ is in us and he is our hope. Our hope for his glorious return, our hope for heaven, and our hope for living in the power of the gospel today. In Christ alone, I will place my trust and find my glory in the power of the cross. Christ alone will I glory, though I can pride myself in battle swan. For I've been blessed beyond measure, and by His strength alone I overcome. Oh, I could starve and count successes like time and sin. Those trophies could not equal to the grace by which I stand in Christ alone. I place my trust and find my glory in the power of the cross. And My source of strength, my source of hope is Christ alone. In Christ alone will I glory, for only by His grace I am redeemed. Only tender mercy could reach beyond my weakness to my need. Now I seek no greater honor than just to know Him more and to count my gains but losses to the glory of my Source of strength. 
Yeah. 
retreat in just a few minutes. You get to hear from the Worship Institute Choir. Can you give a hand to the Worship Institute Choir? Come on up. Make yourselves comfortable. You got to listen to me, though, for a few minutes, all right? Just, just going to give you some time. It's just filler music here. Here we go. From the start, you found a place in my heart, a place where only you fill. But sin kept your spirit from working me. I couldn't look at life, honestly, until the has been a week of worship uh, convention going on at Loma Linda, and they have been learning how to praise God, and this is the choir that has been assembled through this week. I think it started on Wednesday. Well, don't they look awesome? So they're going to sing a couple of songs with us, and we'd like to worship with you on this next song. Give to 
to me in times of the storm. You are the source of my strength. You are the strength of my life. I lift my You guys will come back, right? You'll come back good. All right, good, good. Yeah. Come on, boys. I thought I had my bases covered. My destiny was in control. But I could see I'd never reach perfection. The day I hit a slick spot in the road. And after that, I thought my life was over. Jesus had a different point of view. All I did was confess, and Jesus did the rest. Thank God I've been released and made brand new. You're looking at a child forgiven. You're looking at a soul set free. You're looking at a pardoned prisoner who's walking now in liberty. I'm standing here because of sins are in the deepest sea. He washed me clean somehow, so what you see seeing now is a happy, happy child set free. not a faultless soul what you see is someone who's been broken until the hand of jesus made me whole what you see is not a finished product what you see might sometimes miss the mark but i know my father's eyes see only his sweet prize the perfect old children that we are you're looking at a child forgiven you're looking at a soul 
set free. You're looking at a pardoned prisoner who's walking now in liberty. I'm standing here because of wondrous grace. My sins are in the deepest sea. He washed me clean somehow, so what you see in now is a happy, happy child set free. happy then I don't know what will that is that just talks about the joy of the Lord and and uh, that's what we're here to sing about tonight is we are children who've been forgiven we've been chosen and we've been set free right that is something to be excited about I was reading Psalm 16 uh, David our songwriter in the Bible and I love how he talks about Psalm 16, verse 2. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. Right? God is the giver of, of good things. I'm so thankful for him, especially in a world like this. Further down in verse 8, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. There's a lot of shaking going on in people's lives right now. And I venture to guess that many of you here are going through some of those shaky times. Verse 11, you make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Without him, we are nothing, we have nothing. Our identity is in Jesus Christ and what he did for us on the cross that day, so many years ago, still applies today, still applies to you, still applies to me. I'm so thankful that we have God in our lives and in our world, especially at this time. Without him, where would we be?
tall and the small get together with the Lord. Get together, get together with the Lord. Well, the weak are no longer afraid of the stronger when they all get together with the Lord. Well, when we all, we all get together, hallelujah, when we
Hey, can I just hear the mighty choir in this room sing a little of that? Sing, because he lives. Come on. I can face tomorrow. Yeah. And because he lives. All fear. Yeah, because, because I know he holds the future and life, and life is worth the living just, just because he lives. It's not good news. Good news. Good news. Well, we're about to sing a song that is very special for a few reasons tonight. Um, and I just wanted to honor someone in the room. Um, at our 50th reunion, how many of you remember that? You were either there or you saw it in Ontario, live in Ontario. We got to honor uh, just one of my favorite men in the whole world, beloved by so many. Uh, he was uh, like a dad to me in so many ways. Uh, and that night we got to honor him. Warren Judd is his name. And we got to honor him. And right before we sang this song, we honored Warren. And I looked in the front and, and Jan was sitting there. And uh, if you've heard the recording, you can tell I can barely get through that first verse. But Jan is here again tonight. <laughs> and we love you, Jan. I heard Stu and Joel talking about how Jan and Warren changed uh, the culture of worship at Thousand Oaks Adventist Church. I was there at that time. I got to be a witness of that. But you two changed the culture of every place you went. Everywhere you went, you changed it. And you brought life and you brought joy. And you brought love to so many people. And I miss Warren. But I remember... Towards the end of his life, this was one of his favorite songs, and I think he'd listen to it a lot. And uh, tonight, we're going to sing this, and I get uh, the, the two things he was probably most proud of in his whole world, other than his wife, that he married way over his head, uh, were, his, were his beautiful kids, Mark and Shaney, and we're going to uh, sing this, and we just want to dedicate it again. We love you guys. Warren Judd, sometimes it takes him out. Forgive me, Jesus, 
So I'm supposed to say something after that. Are you guys being blessed tonight? Are you being blessed tonight? I have a confession to make. Um, my colleagues have heard me tell this more than once. I mentioned earlier I'm a media pastor. So one of the characteristics that's kind of crucial is you kind of need to be pretty even keel. And if something goes wrong, you don't get too bent out of shape. So that's a great thing. But you got to understand the downside of that is, have you ever been at, you know, those rides at some theme park where, you know, they take a picture and everyone's like, this is me. <laughs> I'm having a great time, but you'd never know it. One of the blessings, though, at a concert like this is watching all your faces and telling that you're being blessed. This is time for an offering. We want to make sure this concert was accessible to everybody. But if you've been blessed and if you can give tonight, it would be really helpful. I'm going to ask the deacons to come on down. Um, and while they're coming down, if you've been blessed, and if you have something you can give, we'd really appreciate it. I mentioned earlier that um, some of the connections 
I had um, more recently with, with the Heritage Singers. What I didn't mention is I came to this church, to this community about 2009 and uh, had the opportunity to work with Greg, Val's brother who's running all the sound. But one of the things that's really struck me is I've had, I've had the privilege of collaborating and working with Val every year when they come Thanksgiving and then there's been a couple of times where they come like a special event like this. And one of the great things about this just go ahead, guys. Um, one of the great things about this is this isn't just a concert for them. And I think you can sense it, and it's just always moved me. We do a lot of different concerts, and they're very meaningful and then kind of complicated. Sometimes it's always wonderful to work with the Heritage Singers. We're always glad to have them here. And as we mentioned earlier, they're like family. So... I have the privilege of knowing what's coming next, which I'm not gonna tell you. But you remember I kinda said I had kinda the, this reaction. I'm not sure I can keep a straight face and it's gonna be a powerful song. You have a lot to look forward to. Thanks so much for being here. Back in 1971. Oh, come on. Were you not born yet? We have a young crowd. Okay, I see my cousin. Okay, well, Heritage started in 1971, and tonight we want to do something really special we've never done before in 53 years. All our CDs tonight are $5. Can you believe that? And you're saying, but I don't have a CD player in my car. I know they kind of controlled that, huh? We didn't have a choice in that. But I'm sure there's someone that you could share it with to minister to. Um, there's a lot of good albums in there that will definitely bring you closer to Jesus. Five dollars. That's kind of camp meeting special right there. Yeah, for so, sure. So Val, tell us a little bit. I know that the last time we were here, we sold out of bears. And uh, bears just, we haven't ordered bears. I, and I that think we have some news. Yeah, we've been out of bears for almost a year. Max, the singing bear. The one that my dad created it took him 15 years to develop this bear for kids. And the good news is... Um, Many of you complained and called and... Yeah. Uh, right now, as we speak, the bear is on some ship somewhere on our way, on its way to U.S. So we'll have bears in September. So for all of you that we're trying we to... We heard you and they're coming. They're on their way. That's right. That's right. The Heritage Fair. And we have a little special thing that um, has been developed. Um, everybody see here, Mike. Now, I have a question. This is confession time. How many of you guys, after a Heritage Singers concert, you went home and you grabbed the nearest hairbrush and used it as a microphone and uh, started singing to that CD that you had bought from the Heritage Singers? Now, you got to confess now. Show your hands, those that grabbed that. Come on now. That's right. That's right. I remember as a seven-year-old boy hearing the Heritage Singers and going and um, just breaking apart my stereo and putting the little boom boxes on the floor like monitors and grabbing the hairbrush. And at the time, I, I really looked up to Tim Davis. I still do. Tim Davis is great. He used to wear these long trench coat uh, uh, um, jackets up to his knees. So I didn't have one of those. So I grabbed the, a raincoat put it on and I and I sang to the heritage singers but this is a cool little development that has been put together now you don't have to grab your hairbrush this is for the kids and um, we want you guys to hear it real real quick can, can we share it with you They were trying to ship these in for tonight and um, didn't make it. So we're going to have these for kids. There is 20 songs on this mic. Uh, the kids' songs, the same as 
the songs that are in the bear. So your kids already know them, and you do too. So now you get to uh, sing along on this karaoke mic. Yes, yeah, so Bluetooth and kids, you can just snag your parents to get it to you, pre-order it, and I think we're going to see a bunch of older kids get it too. So please. Yes, we also this evening are selling a um, bundle that has a t-shirt, uh, some DVDs and CDs, only for $30. So please come on back and um, we want to, not only for you to take some material with you, but also we want to say hello. So come on back, we'd love to say hello. Hey, uh, thank you for letting me do this, Val. Real quick, something for the parents. Uh, we talked about something for the kids, but uh, here, let me, yeah, you hold that, thank you. Um, I just, everybody, I just wrote a book uh, the, la the first part of this year. I know, I never thought I would do that, but uh, I know, I've talked to Holly for so many years about um, just the amazing power of, uh, of a dad in, in my, not only my life and in your lives, but in the life of the world. Uh, and I would always say things like, hey, culture would be completely transformed if more men stepped up and loved sons and daughters, not just their own biological kids, but just sons and daughters with the heart of a good father. Amen? Yeah. And I get to honor your dad, the, the two greatest men other than my own dad that I, I, in my life throughout, throughout the years has been Warren, and I got to honor him a second ago, but Max as well. And I write about them a little bit as well, just the impact that they had on my life. And guys, it's, this book is not even out yet until the end of September it's out, but I was able to get just a, a, a few boxes of them to bring tonight. And so I, my wife and I are going to be at a table with these books, Power of a Dad. We would love you to pick one up and uh, shake. This is so shamelessly plugging this book, but here it is. Uh, and we'd love you to get one uh, while we have some, and then it comes out at the end of September as well. But not that fun? That's fun. That is fun, Val. Autograph, okay, yeah, whatever. Come on out, Shane. Hey, would you like to hear the choir sing some more with us? Okay. And we have a special treat for you. We want to invite Shama to come on up here. He's going to lead us in this well-known song. This well-known song. Oh, look at you. Look at you. You even got the purple on, brother. All right, let's sing Happy Day. You, why don't you sing with us too? Give us a chance where we all got to participate. Go ahead and stand up on your feet. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Sins away. Oh, happy day. Yeah, happy day. Oh, 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 happy day. When Jesus was. When Jesus was. In the way Oh, happy day Oh, happy day Oh, happy day He taught me how Oh, he taught me how To fight and pray To fight and pray To fight and pray And he taught me how to live And to live and to live 
We got the heart bumping, that's right. What a privilege. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, choir. Thank you, choir. Mercy. Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Miguel Verazas. I didn't I grew up not too far away from here um, in Palm Springs, California. Went to school at Mesa Grande Academy. Mesa Grande Academy. Look at there. I hear it. I hear it. Um, it's so good to be here with you this evening. My wife is at home with my two lovely children, Annalise and Noah. And I just have to tell you this. Um, Annalise, this is kind of hard. Annalise, I can't believe it, is going to be starting kindergarten on Thursday. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. So pray for me. Not, she's fine. She's ready to go. I'm going to be the one in tears on Thursday, but we're so proud of her, and um, if they're watching, I just want to say hello, hello guys. Um, I've been singing with the group, I can't believe it, 10 years, uh, going on 11, it's been a, such a wonderful, and I just have to say, Greg and Valerie, thank you so much for keeping me around, and your dad was so special to me, and I know he's special to all of us, but I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you so much for coming out and praising God. Good evening, everyone. My name is Cindy Hafner. I was born and raised, only till I was 18, in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and I came down to the States. There's some Canadians here? Woo! Canadians. Um, I make my home in Sacramento with my wonderful husband, Eddie, and I got to tell you, I know, I'm not trying to take the... I did this photo. Okay. My daughter just had her second baby boy. His name is Jacob Theodore, and we are so blessed to have um, him in our lives. So thank you so much for coming. I started singing back in 1978. I think that was 42. Let's not do math. Let's not do math. <laughs> anyway, I've been very blessed to be a part of this family. So thank you so much for coming. Um, we really appreciate it. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dave Bell. I was. Good evening, everyone. I was born right here in Loma Linda, California. But I now make my home at Pacific Union College, where I teach during the school year, but on the weekends and special trips, I'm out here with the Heritage Singers. Uh, I started singing with a group 42 years ago. No, 41 years ago, something like that. I can't do math either. Uh, my wonderful wife, we just celebrated our 33rd wedding anniversary last week. Uh, she's at home. Hi, Susan, watching online. 
But it's, it's been such a blessing to be here so many times. Every time we come, you all are so warm and giving and, and just responsive and just, we love you. Thank you for coming. Good evening, everyone. My name is Melody Davis and I still live in the area. I live with my husband, Tim, in Los Angeles. Um, I started singing almost 30 years ago, coming up on 30 years. I sing soprano, unless Dave's sick, and then I sing bass. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for coming out. Hey, everyone. I'm Mark Judd. Uh, no one can beat Dave on intros, but uh, I mean, I, my, my best shot at it is I went to school here in Loma Melinda, graduated. School of Medicine, 1997. My, my sweet wife worked at the Children's Center. So we love, we love Loma Linda. Oh yeah, good, good to come back here. I don't know how long I've, I've been singing with, with the group. I don't sing with them all the time, but I'll tell you one thing. I've been listening to this group <laughs> since I was little in the 70s. And it's crazy fun and, ble and a blessing for me to, to be standing up here singing with these guys and because the ministry of this group and the encouragement, I think about how to enca encapsulate it, but the encouragement and the faith building that God has worked through the Heritage Singers, I'll tell you guys, I am so thankful for that. I bet you guys are too. Hey everyone, my name's Shaney Judd Deal and that guy is my brother, for those of you who don't know. Yes. So we were both born and raised in Sydney, Australia, and uh, home for me is just about 10 minutes down the road in Redlands. So it's nice to be home tonight. And I started singing with the group back in the late 90s, and I sing alto, and it's great to be with you tonight. Well, how are you, everybody doing? My name is Scott Reed. I have kind of lived all over, but we currently, my wife and I, live in Los Angeles, California, so we're back. In California, I grew up in Camarillo, went to Newbury Park Academy, went to PUC, Dave Bell, and uh, so glad to be here in Loma Linda. My beautiful wife of 24 years is right there, Holly Reed, wave to everybody, it's Holly, uh, and uh, so grateful. I've been singing with the group since 1994, so glad to be here. Hello, my name is Val Mace Mappa, and I've had the privilege of being a part of this ministry for the past, e 53? 52? We're past 50. Pretty awesome. Um, so grateful to be back at Loma Linda. Yesterday was a really special day. My husband, Art Mappa, and I celebrated 32 years of marriage on Southwest Airlines on our way here. Stand up, honey. <laughs> <laughs> no better place to spin it than with these guys and the airplane, what we're used to. Uh, in the back running the sound tonight is my brother Greg. He has been doing that since 1971, so he's still back there taking good care of us. <laughs> Greg has a beautiful wife and two daughters uh, that are super special, Amber and Bella. And then... Um, my mom wanted me to tell you guys hello. She's watching tonight. Hi, Mama. Here we are. And um, my son is in here tonight and his wife because there's something I haven't told you. One month ago, I became a grandma. Yeah. I know, I know. It's hard to believe. So they'll be here in November and you'll see the baby, but he's precious and, and I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving every minute of it. Uh, at this time, I think we want to sing with you guys again. Is that okay, the choir? Okay, let's do it. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry, the boys want to sing first. Not yet, choir, sorry, not yet. Sorry. Settle down. So boys are going to sing a song, okay? All right, let's go. Come on. It is a happy day. You were wrong. We did. It was good or happy day. Oh, right. Are you inviting the guys? No, go ahead. Sorry. Give it away, Gregor. Am I, is it, that right? Well, Greg can play whatever he wants we to play. We want to have dinner, yeah. El Monte, and Marcelo come up. Oh, yeah, Marcelo, Dinar, come on, let's go. Are you there? 
There's dinner. That's what Greg was waiting for. Dinner Get was up the here. director of our group in Chile. Come on, guys. And he also taught, I think. And Marcelo is from Loma Linda now, but we met him when he was in Chile, and he sang with both groups.
tonight that maybe no one even knows about I want you to know that Jesus cares and he's there and he will see you through it there is coming a day when no heartache shall come no more clouds in the sky Saved me by His grace. When He 
takes me by the hand and leads me to the promised land. What a day, glorious day that will be. There'll be no more sorrows there and no more Let's hear the parts, come on. The hand and leads me to yeah. the promised land. What a day, what, what a day. glorious, glorious day that will be. What a day, what a day, what a day. One of the things we want to honor the most uh, about this ministry and about Max and Lucy Mace was that they loved, like Mark said earlier, to bring hope. They loved to sing about heaven, about what a day it will be when there's no more pain, no more sorrow. We don't have to lose people that we really love. What a day that will be. People love to hear about heaven. People love to, be, to hear about hope. And that day is coming, friends. Trust me, it is coming. But we have a lot to do in the meantime. And Jesus did something on the cross over 2,000 years ago where the, where the second to the last thing he said on that cross was, it is finished. And that statement was not one of exhaustion like many of us would think. Like, man, after all of that that he went through, he's on that cross, he's hanging there, he's got a pick himself up with the spikes. He must be so tired that finally he gets to say, oh, I'm done. It wasn't like that. It is finished is a phrase that is a bit more like, I did exactly what I came to do. It would be the thing that you would say if you climbed Mount Everest, right? You'd say, it is 
finished. I hit my goal. Every step that I took that was on purpose and planned, it's done. I've taken care of it. I have paid it in full. That's what that phrase meant. And what he came to do was to give us abundant life, not just in heaven. Melody read that earlier. He came to give us abundant life right now. And so what I have a question for you tonight is that so many of us don't live like it's finished. So many of us don't live like the battle is over and that there will be no more war. Sometimes we feel bound up and imprisoned as if there's still work for Jesus to do for us. And guys, friends, he's done it all. He's paid it all. It's over. There'll be no more war. We get to live lives of freedom. And some of us choose like uh, uh, to live still like prisoners. You, you know that term where prisoners are let out of prison and sometimes they don't know how to live like free men and women and they'd actually rather be back in prison. And some of us live like that. Jesus has told us that it's finished, that we are free, that there's no more war, and yet we still feel like there's something for us to prove and do. And tonight, I know what Max and Lucy would want you to hear. I know what your heavenly father would want you to hear more than anything is, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in your weakness, so it's finished. There's no more war. And he would want you to leave this place full of hope and life and faith like free men and women. And so as we leave you tonight, we've been so grateful to be here. It's been so good for us uh, to just worship with you tonight. But as you hear this last song, would you remind yourself, remind your heart, allow the Holy Spirit to come in and speak to you again today. You're my son, you're my daughter, in whom I'm well pleased. And listen, stop all of your striving. I've already paid the price that you're trying to pay. It was a price you could never afford. And just turn to him. Receive his forgiveness. Confess your sin. Receive his free gift of grace. Live like free Men and women, sons and daughters, it is finished. The battle is over. There'll be no more war. Listen to this.
Would you pray with me? What a day that will be, and what a day this has been. God, we worship and honor and bless your name. We thank you for the gifts you have given to human beings, and for the way those gifts had lifted us heavenward tonight. Bless us now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.